Hammer Gang. Cause we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans, my FSU fans, or haters, or whatever y'all is. Nonetheless, Mike Norvell and his Florida State crew stepped down into South Florida yesterday in my backyard, well, Palm Beach, 561. They was in Palm Springs. Now, you know Mike Norvell got this whole... Um, clinic set up for kids now these are younger kids all the way up to eighth grade so as you guys know can't do no recruiting can't do no uh, in-person recruiting and like that so he's not really meeting up with the high school kids just the younger kids you know getting them re registered you know doing little physicals and stuff like that it's a good thing for the kids you know i can't knock norvell for doing that but you know what you we all know what it really is trying to get into these kids head you know input input florida state into their head at an early age you know how it is kids remember stuff like this stuff like this is something that they take with them hey i remember meeting the florida state guy you know they came through for us they made my day stuff like that but nonetheless i'm a miami hurricane I, I like what he's doing for the kids, but at the same time, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't need the, the young upcoming stars, you know, choosing to go to Florida State over Miami or anything because of something little or significant like this. But nonetheless, man, I didn't pray on it or anything like that. But, you know, this is Florida. This is Florida. The event started at 630 and it was supposed to last till 8. You know, they had a couple um former um Seminole alumni there, um what's the name? Marcus Marcus White and um what's the other guy's name? I forgot the the, the other guy's name, um O'Larry. O'Larry, so and also they had current player um um what's his name? Jordan Travis and Brandon something. I forgot his last name. Um or Brian or Brandon, whatever his name was, they was there too. So, you know, Norville took pictures with the kids. A lot of FSU fans that live down here in South Florida brought their kids or showed up just, you know, to show their support for FSU or whatever. But nonetheless, um, this is South Florida. There's a thing called the storm. <laughs> the storm, you know, rainy season, you know. It's like, the hurricane gods was watching and they sent the rain they sent the rain they sent the thunder they sent the cancellation yes the cancellation of this event this event did not go far it didn't take long for this event to get shut down the hurricane gods are watching not in our backyard Norville. now today friday um i think they're supposed to go down into um Broward County and do the same thing you know might be a stormy day today too who knows if the hurricane gods are watching and tired of it but I'm thinking on Saturday they will be in Miami to do this event you know do this um clinic or whatever like I said this is this is Florida there's a lot of hurricane fans there's a lot of Seminole fans I see them all the time there's even um the Florida Gator fans there's a lot of those down here too so Nonetheless, man, I'm, I do believe Norvell event, unless it rains and storms or whatever, it will be successful. You know, some a lot, the, the positive is a lot of these kids will get registered, will get their physicals and stuff like that. They'll learn a, a, a thing or two. Hopefully, they, they don't get brainwashed into becoming Seminoles in the future, man. But anyways, man, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Should Norvell pack his stuff up and get the hell out of South Florida? Or, you know, hey, continue doing what you do. And by the way, like, share, subscribe. <laughs>